everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, I think it's been again another week or so since I've been on but obviously it's quite busy at home with the girls and everything. Anyway, I'm just going to get right onto it. I made this album um, last couple of days so I'll move this one out of the way. I made this lovely album. I did get inspired by Mixed Up Crafts on the style but the measurements and the way it is is like my own. Um, but I don't like making, I love albums, I love how they look, I love everything about it, but I just don't like making them with the spine and all that. So this is really easy for me to do and I just love it. So I'm just going to get into it. I've got some photos in. So you open it up, I've done nothing to the cover there. It's got these metal corners on. It's got some red book rings. I've done a nice little mat here, a little piece that you can journal on or stick a couple of photos on. I did originally have 10 pages in but it was far far too many so I had to take some down but then it you just open it like that it's a beautiful picture of my daughter there I've just put a little sentiment and you open it that way and then that piece opens to that side and then you turn it over and then you've got that and then on the next page I've done it so it opens up and then the flap this time is up to the top there and then it just continues like that so opens up and again and these little spaces where I haven't put anything I'm going to do some journaling on them um, there's another map piece here to journal or add some more photos to it quite a lot of pictures in I was going to do this size again but I haven't got enough to put and then that's how it looks plain but I did go through a whole paper pad um, making up this album so there's another one of my girls and Layla at the farm. And then, so I haven't finished it, I've run out of photo paper, so I need, I've ordered some of that to come. So that is the album. Then today I thought, okay, I wanted to come on and show you how I made this one. So I made a smaller version. It's more or less the same. So this is the front. It says family album. I cut this out on my Cricut, but I'm sure if you've got some dyes, you can do... Um, die cut your words and then I've got these pieces and they're I've just laid them up it's a stamping up punch and I laid them up to make it feel like it's chipboard so this is the cover I have ordered some metal corners so it's going to have four of them on the front four on the back so you open it like this and there's the front haven't put anything on there I think I'm going to just have a picture on then I've done another one of these little cards again with some butterfly embellishment on and that opens then this one opens out and then I've done two mats so if I just move it over so I've done two mats that open up and then like a double spread page there so it's kind of like well it is it's a photo album scrapbook album and then room there this will fit when the last page is in 46 photos if you decide to put two on here and not one then obviously you're gonna get a lot more uh, probably around 60 photos so I've got another piece there I just found this paper pad in my stash and forgot all about that I even had it so I got it out and I've got two sheets left so and that piece there they're just white mats so we're gonna do the cover and one more page today just to show you how to do it and if you want to do the bigger one you just size it up um, it's more or less made exactly the same way this is a 5 by 7 album so we'll do the page first and you're going to need your base page needs to measure 10 and 3 quarter inches by 7 inches and you want to score on the long side at 5 inches and 10 inches and then just fold that in half and I've got my bone folder so you just want to fold that in half and burnish and that will be your page. The reason I've scored it again here is so that I can see the width um, because I like that. Then you want two, wrong piece, got quite a few pieces, where are they? Your two inside flaps for your pages, they're going to measure four and a half by five and you want to score along the four and a half inch side at a half an inch on both pieces and then you just want to fold them and burnish them as well and 
And then what we're going to do is that our page will open like that and we're going to attach one here and one there and that's where that line comes in handy just to measure that up. I'll just make sure I'm in shot. So I'm going to use wet glue but you can use double sided tape if you like. So just applying your glue along that edge. Make sure you've got plenty on. And then you want to just line it up right on the very end. And then just picking it up to make sure it's not peeking over the top. And then just use your bone folder or your finger and just flatten that down. And then I like to open it and then just run my finger along the inside. So that's your first flap. You could put you could put a flap here at the top, so it would lift up that way. This is just um, quite basic, but I really I love to put photos in albums. I really do. So then, using that score line, you can see the score line. Just butt this right up to that line and make sure it's level at the top and then what I like to do is just close that to make sure it's not peeking out on that side and it's not so again you can use your bone folder and then there we go so that is your first page and you'll make all your pages like that there's five pages so you want to do that five times so you'll want five base pages and ten of these flaps and that's how it will open and that'll be the back so then for the mats and layers I've got two white pieces for the insides and they will measure three and three quarters by four and three quarters and we're going to glue these on the inside so you want two white ones and then two of your patterned ones so you'll need four of these ones and then it will just give you a really nice bit of a border there so we do that one We'll bring it over and then we'll do this side. And then on that side as well. And then I've cut my, so you want four of them, like I just said, and you're going to stick them on there, but I'll do that in a minute. Then you want four more pieces and they need to measure four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And that's going to be my inside piece. So we'll attach these. You could just skip through if you don't want to watch me sticking all this on. But I just thought I'd come on and finish it off on camera. Because it is a nice easy project and while we're all stuck inside, as most of us are, you could be doing what I do and take some of your photos off your phone and um, put them on albums. My, we all love looking at albums. My girls like to look at the pages, especially Layla. Um, so it's a nice idea and it's a nice family keepsake as well. So there we go this next one down and then we'll do these front pieces now so I hope you're all well and all staying safe I'm getting a little bit bored now um, I'm so pleased I've got so much craft stuff to be getting on with I have got a surprise creation um, package and I absolutely forgot about it I put it to the side uh, I've been so busy like with the girls and 
the house and things like that that I've forgotten all about it so and it is the April release or is it the May it might be May actually but I will get that video up as well there's some lovely new dies in there so that's them two pieces and then it opens up like that and then now you want to decide I want this one on the front and then the beautiful butterfly one on the back so just making sure you leave that nice border and then we we'll turn it over and then we'll put the last piece on making sure on the back that you start from this edge and not the other side because that's where your line is and that's where you're going to put your holes so that's how easy it is to do your pages so there's the front there's the inside open it up and there's the back then to attach let's take one of these pages out I took a ruler and I marked two inches and five inches. Yep, two and five inches. But for the rest of your pages, you can just pop that on top. Take a pencil. And there we go. Sorry about my arm. And just draw a circle. Draw around that, and then you can punch that off. If I can find a punch. Now I've ordered the cropper dial. I'm so excited. I just cannot wait for that to come. This thing is great and it really works really well, but it kills my hand. Um, you have to put that much pressure onto it that it just really hurts the palm of my hand, especially going through the chipboard. It's not good. So there we go that's the page and then we can attach that in pop that on back in and then I've got that right way around yeah. and then this one in as well these book rings are one and a half inches this book ring if anybody was wondering that what size they are I may need to swap them out for the bigger ones so that's that then for your insert you'll need a piece of card that measures four and three quarters by seven and you want to score at three quarters of an inch and then you want two pieces and I used the cover piece that's the stamping up piece it's not a part of the pad and that measures three and three quarters by six and three quarters and I've just stuck these on the back I should have left my book rings open actually and then you'll just stick that onto the back like so and then you'll just mark well you'll draw around your rings like you just saw me do and then we'll attach that one in but we'll do that after well let's get the cover done and this is the worst part it's why i don't like doing albums <laughs> oh dear i just don't like covering the, the cover so i've got a piece of designer paper and that measures eight by nine inches and then you've got your piece of chipboard and it's quite thick see what it is if I can it's a, it's a it's an eighth of an inch thick and it measures seven by five and I've just put some double-sided sticky tape on then your top mat piece for the top of it wants to measure five and a half by six and three quarters so let's make sure we've got it the right way we're gonna stick this into the center 
stick this into the center okay so I'm just going to peel off my tape and then I'm going to pop some glue over the top as well um, let's get some glue that would 15 minutes in hopefully it won't be too much longer <laughs> I don't want to bore you skip through this bit if you want if you already know how to do it um, so let's just get some glue on and then on we go just eyeball it into the center as best that you can just leaving a nice even gap all the way around and then just press it on and what I like to do is turn it over and with my burn folder just burnish that on okay then what you want to do is bend these pieces over <coughs> excuse me so bend all them over let's push that down a little bit extra and this is the bit I don't like this is why I don't like to <laughs> But I really do love how they look. So what I see people do is chop the corner off, but leave a little bit. Leave a little bit there. And then I need to come up a tiny bit. Okay, so that, <laughs> leave a little bit there. I'll show you why in a minute. See, I know the method, I know why. But it just never, that's why I put corners on. Because then it hides it. But I'm sure yours will turn out better than this. Okay, so that's that. So then I'm going to close that. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm going to put some more double sided tape along the edge. I've got this nice thick tape here. So I'm just going to put it on two sides for a minute, and it's really strong. This tape. I actually picked it up at my local um, newsagent shop, but it is so strong. It's like if you've ever used Stampin' Up Fast Views, it's like as strong as that stuff. So I'm just going to stick that there, and then just to be on the safe side, I'm going to sit down a minute. I'm going to put some glue along the edge here, all along that edge of the chipboard so that it sticks on that part as well and then I'm going to bring it up and just for extra measure put it on there so now let's peel off that tape and then push over that first bit and really burnish it down okay and then we're just going to repeat that on the next side so I'm going to get my glue and this is just um, a Nita's tacky glue that I fill up the bottle with. I get it from the range, it's just a few pounds for a really big bottle. I've never had any problem with it because it comes out so fine like this, it, it's never warped any of my projects. Um, so then we want to take off that tape again and push that over. And this is why you have to leave that little that little overhang on that corner there because you want to pull it around to give yourself a nice neat corner. But if you're like me and you're not the best, but still want to, you know, make it, then put book corners on. <laughs> That's what I do. Plus it protects the corner for longer anyway. And I suppose the more you do it, the better you'll become. But I don't usually really make very many albums. Um, especially not on my channel. So I'm just going to pop a bit of double sided tape on these pieces here. Let's see. And that is not bad at all. So actually it's worked out quite well. So I'm just going to remove that tape and again I'm going to take my glue and put 
cut it up this side along here and then all along there and then I'm going to push that up and then there we go and that's not bad at all actually <laughs> quite quite good actually I am um, a quick crafter I like things to happen quick I don't like waiting ages for things um, yeah there we go and then we'll just pull that one up go over the top to make sure that's nice and stuck down and as you can see them corners are not bad at all actually I am quite impressed <laughs> so there we go then what we're going to do is take our black layering piece and we're just going to leave a little edge like that so I did give you the sizes I'm sure it's six and three quarters by five and a half I'll just give them you again because I know sometimes I forget so again pop your glue on and then we'll get this one stuck down as well And there we go. So just use your bone folder again. And then that is your cover. So then what we need to do is I'm just going to pause the video. Okay, so what I've done is like I did before, I took one of the pages out of the Um, album, sorry, just cleaning that out, and then I drew over where they were. So, what did we do? We lined it up, drew around these holes, and then you get that. And also, I've just gone ahead and punched the holes in that extra piece. So, maybe I should have done it on the other side actually, do them on the outside that way oh, every time just rub that pencil mark off okay so I've done them on the outside and this is why I'm so glad I'm getting that crocodile <laughs> because honestly this is um, a labour of love so you want to pop your hopefully you've got a crocodile and not one of these that is just so strenuous so I have to tease that in and then it pokes out a little bit and then pick it out and then keep going until eventually it will poke through I, I do have a lot of strength but I think because I've done it on the other album and I've done it on this one now it's like hurting my hands so we're nearly through and then I've got the next one to do as well so one more layer to get through hopefully that's done it yeah so as you can see we are through <laughs> so what I might do is to not bore you to death is just pause the video, do the other one, and then come back. So we're through, um, and I've got very bad hand ache. I'm just popping some eyelets, some silver eyelets in now. And then setting them. So there's the eyelets. They're in now. Whew, that really <laughs> hurt my hand. Roll on Friday. Um, yeah, so let's. 
I'm going to put, oops, where is it? Let's wiggle that down a bit. Right, I'm going to put this divider piece in. And you can, like I say, stick extra photos on that. I'm going to put this page in now. I might have to um, switch out my rings. I'm not 100% sure. And then let's get the cover on. If I have to switch them out, then I'm going to have to go for the two inch rings. And I think mm, maybe I will. Because that is not really closing very well. And that is because there's just not enough span in between the rings. So I, I am going to switch it out. And I'm going to go for my big two inch rings. So let's go from back to front. Definitely skip if you're not interested. <laughs> In seeing this, I am just going to be switching one to the other. Um, so, yeah, get in. Oh, my goodness. Right. Wow. How much harder things are when you're on film. It's quite unbelievable. There. Get in. Right, so all I'm going to do is just take one over to the other and just move all of this across. So I will pause the video and then come back. Okay, so I've popped them on. I'm just going to close the rings. And then we'll... Oh, that's it, yeah. So I've switched it out and we've gone for the two inch rings and then now it will open <laughs> and close. So here we are, I'll show you the front again. I will have corners on it, don't forget. Family album, turn it over and you'll be able to add more pages as you go as well. So really pretty. I did go through most of it at the beginning so we'll just quickly skip through I absolutely love it and you're going to get lots of photos in and again you could just add more pages as and when you want I've stuck that one in the wrong way um, yeah so thank you very much for watching I hope you'll give it a go I hope you stuck with me and followed on till the end if you did and you liked the video please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and Take care everybody, stay safe and I will see you again next time. Bye for now.